While in the tech world this last weekend on the 3rd to 4th of October, a team of young Rwandan engineers organized the largest virtual hackathon in Kigali, NASA Space Apps Challenge. Over 20 participants participated virtually and nine teams submitted projects on space technology, data analysis, jet propulsion, and various other technologies. The main purpose for the weekend was to highlight the importance of space technology in Africa and build a community of space enthusiasts and learn about the vast applications of space technology. Earlier, we spoke to Giza Charlotte, NASA Space App co-lead, to shed more light on this initiative. Charlotte Buja, thank you so much for joining us here. Thank you for having me, Athen. I really appreciate it. Now, um, there's a lot about the NASA Space Challenge and NASA, NASA Space App and the Darkson itself. Um, one would want to know, what is this about? What is this about? So NASA Space Apps has been happening since 2012 around the world in different cities, uh, more than 200 cities, but it has never come to Kigali. So this year, me and my friends, uh, three other colleagues, we wanted to bring something, uh, a hackathon to Rwanda, uh, for people to come together, collaborate, innovate, and um, bring projects together using space data um, that is already available online. Yeah. What is the background of you and your friends in terms of, uh, you know, are you um, into space uh, technology? What yes, uh, so most of our backgrounds are engineering and also analytics. So I'm very, um, uh, my background is in information technology. Yeah. I really love data analytics. My other colleague called uh, Sylvia Macario, she's the mm -hmm. co-founder of Hepta Analytics. Her company also does uh, outsourcing for analytics platform. Another one is Abhinav Gautam. He's also a co-founder of Freshbox that deals with agri-tech technology and he also has an engineering background. And then the last one is also Arana Shera, who is a co-founder of Impact Higali, that is also a space for people to come together and uh, build technology projects. So all of us are into technology and we love this and we wanted to bring something new like this. So that is what brought us together and that is uh, what's made us do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is the purpose of a NASA Space Hackathon? The purpose was to bring collaboration, innovation, creativity, and uh, make people uh, demystify mm -hmm what space is about. People usually think it's all about physics, all about math, but something they cannot enter to. But we wanted to invite people who are artists, even artists, people into data science, people into software engineering, to come together and build amazing things. And what we've seen in the past weekend was really amazing that uh, our youth are so talented and they have so much to bring to the world. What came out of the hackathon? What came out of the hackathon? So we had 10 teams. Um, the highlights ones that I can think about are Floodwiz and uh, and Ichi forecast. Ichi means, in Kinyanda means a long dry season. So thus, uh, our, um, our team members were able to, to build a design for a web app that predicts and alerts people about heavy rains. It can be used for people working in construction lines so that they can know that when is heavy rains coming so they can build a foundation and not uh, and plan for the year and their budget. Also, it can help people who are living in slums so that governments can allocate a budget to help them uh, uh, allocate in case there are heavy rains and also uh, people who are in farming, right? They need to know uh, when, when are the heavy rains coming so that we also plan for our, for our seasons. So, and then another project that came out of it was called Floodways. So our, the, t the team members were Inez Bonte and Pascaline. They were able to build a data, a data visualization map so that people can see um, uh, in Rwanda, how many how many deaths occurred? How many houses were were destroyed because of floods? So this can help governments um, know um, where to really focus their attention on and just give them information. So it's really good for data decision making. So it was it was amazing to see what he can be able to build. Some of his team members didn't know even how to code, but they were able to learn so much over this weekend because of that collaboration, because of that. Uh, because of the pressure that is there when you have to build something in just two days, yeah. So it was um, talking about you've talked about uh, weather and climate. 
and now one wonders and the fact that it has the word NASA in it. Mm. Are you partnering with NASA? Who are the main partners that you're having on board? Yes, so NASA helped us to build a platform for these uh, applicants to register and also to submit their projects. So it, because it was all virtual, they really gave us uh, the tools to, to help us make this project succeed. So they gave us the page to, for them to register. They gave us the, uh, the tools to use Slack and to use Zoom and they also uh, provided us with the data and also uh, resources such as uh, uh, registering your platform on a domain if for free for the uh, applicants as well. Mm. How are you working with the government of Rwanda? Is it uh, entirely private or is it a partnership? So here? yes, we reached out to Rwanda Space Agency and also the Ministry of ICT. Uh, the Rwanda Space Agency was able to provide mentorship for the projects that came out of this. So the winners who are global nominees who uh, compete with others around the world will be able to get mentorship from Rwanda Space Agency and help them build um, their projects even more. And also for any for anything they want, they can always reach out, we, we connect to them. And then also, um, Yves Dukunda, the permanent secretary of ICT, came out this yesterday for a ceremony to say, to just give a word of encouragement to the participants, and it was, we were so honored for that, yeah. Mm. What are the awards for the winners of the house? So, um, among us, Hepta Analytics was able to provide them with uh, airtime worth of 12,500. 12,500 francs, and then... Um, 12 francs? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, but also mentorship from the Aranda Space Agency was an award, and and uh, for the global nominees, if they win, if they win uh, amongst the ones uh, globally, they will be able to be featured on the social media of NASA and also to, to go to NASA headquarters if travel allows because of COVID-19. Yeah. No. Is that all, or that leads us to becoming also another uh, airspace kind of uh, hub in the region? Uh, yeah. What does that lead us to? Yes, so we were, we were so fortunate to be the only only uh, city in the whole of East Africa to do this this year. So um, answering your question, what does this lead us to? It just give people more awareness that space is something that they can enter to, that the youth can, they have something to, to, to provide to the world, um, that they shouldn't be scared. They, they have so many resources, there's so many open source resources that they can use uh, to hack and to build projects and to provide something for the government to use so they can tackle issues such as uh, optimizing agriculture, yield and uh, detecting and detecting hazards, so many things that can, they can build, yeah. Mm. Uh, what are the challenges you first uh, holding this virtually? Uh, the challenges, actually, yeah, the challenges was that usually hackathons people, they call you at 9 a.m., you have to come and um, bring a computer. So it's easy for us to control. So it was not very easy for us to control. We had to call people to make sure that they're, um, they're still building, they're still coding. Um, that was a challenge, but the benefit of it was that um, was that people could stay in their houses, right, and and hack. They don't have to come anywhere, so there is no cost on us. Um, so that was the that was the beauty of it. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's how I can answer that. Charlotte Wizard, NASA Space App Code. Many thanks for finding time to speak to us here on Thank you, Akan. Really so appreciate. Much. All the best. You too. <laughs>